Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement on this day where I'm attempting to catch up with everything. And that includes season one, episode four? Oh, they're four in. Of oh, Black Sails. Okay, <laughs> all right, so. We had an alliance with Vane to go after a treasure ship. But that alliance fell apart rather quickly, yes? And I don't, does Vane no longer have a ship and crew to captain i think he has a little bit of crew but eleanor can can make a make a, a threat and take everything away like that for reals that does not sound sustainable but i guess we're going hunting is that it we're going treasure hunting now okay let's get going so i am going to get under the big cozy blanket. And I have my citrus beverage for this journey is, I made a strawberry lemonade because it's early still and I have strawberries that need to be used. I hope you have your favorite beverage as well and you're not gonna knock it over. You're gonna remember full episode watch long is available on Patreon. I love to see you there. And if you're ready, so am I, so let's get to it. Captain Gates. <laughs> So, do you have it's done. A, a, fir a first mate that you trust? Is Billy going with you? Wow, that's a lot of men. They did get a lot of men to go with them. Ooh, that's a lot of men. As you know, I've been asked to serve as captain of the Ranger when next we sail. You will need somebody to act as your quartermaster in the meantime. I was thinking Billy Bones. If we're going to win the Urka, the walrus must be ship-shaped. That means we tip her. Plain and simple. Rum casks and Mr. Simpson's buttered oranges are on their way. And the pigs are being ready for Mr. Silver's spit. Sure. <laughs> now, to return to the issue of location. What about the fuck tent? Don't lose them yet. I've inspected the shoreline proposed by the captain for this undertaking, and it is simply unsuitable to the task at hand. With the crew's ascent, I ask for time to find a more suitable beach. And delay our efforts by how long? Now, Mr. De Groot's concerns are valid, but they come at a price. Five million dollars in Spanish gold, to be exact. All those in favor of the captain's plan, the green here, near the bay. It would appear the eyes have it. Nay. Well, you're the one solo nay. Mr. Morley's descent is noted, along with Mr. De Groot's. All right, let's beach this bitch. Yeah, quick question then. Where are we on the issue of the fuck tent? <laughs> <laughs> Who else is going to be in this tent with you, pumpkin? Given the potential for distraction and delay, perhaps we can all agree to forego you know, just this once. Pretend. <laughs> John's smile. <laughs> well, they brought some girls with them. Okay. You shouldn't have. Give me some extra flavor on that pig there. Actually bringing it up on the beach. Still waters. Don't be such an old lady. The men will rise to it. Are they gonna break the ship before they even get under? Yeah, I think the captain knows what he's doing. <laughs> Flint had us hunting a merchant ship. Sephardic trade, gold. But that's Flint's gift, in it always knows just what to say to push us harder further make us all pull together for the cause that's his job till finally we spotted her we lost good men taking her while i was exploring the hold i chanced upon a cabin and that's when i heard it spare us and our fortune's yours but that's when the screams began and when i watched the murderer leave I saw him, plain. Did you tell anyone? Gates. He was unmoved, to say the least. Was he also unsurprised? 
But days later, we come ashore. I see a lady waiting for Flint. But when Flint reaches her, two words escape his lips. They're dead. Hunting the Maria, Elaine. Was never about money. It was an execution. Was it? Good men will die for some hidden agenda. The Barlow woman's agenda. Mark my words, Billy. The, the Puritan witch that controls Flint's moves. <laughs> he looks as if he's enjoying it. Will you be staying long? What is their relationship? If you're upset with me, I'd appreciate you saying so. No, why I'm upset. Because I read to him. It's all shelf full of books. Why do you have to read him that one? Ooh. Perhaps because I am no longer willing to bury it on a shelf and pretend it has no meaning for me. That book is something I shared with Thomas. <gasps> Was Thomas their son? Missed it. Our life then. When he was alive. A former husband. I can feel myself forgetting it. I don't want to forget it. Oh. Who beat him up? One week without a ship will go completely to hell. Oh, it's been Isn't a week? To ask that you not pick a fight over every insult thrown our way. See, we've graduated to opium. Hmm. Miss Guthrie has dealt us quite a blow. Hmm. Hmm. But we still have assets. Eight loyal men. Eight. My wit and an unshakable captain. My wit. <laughs> Your blade. <laughs> my bow. And they'll find a cruel crew who will follow Vane. Fuck you, Jack. If somebody wants a piece of him. So now I know we have lots of backstabbing going on and lots of pirating and whatnot. That's that's the setup for the show. But I wonder. Approach me all asking the same question: Who's next to lose their livelihood because they crossed her on the wrong day? Uh. What am I trying to thought? Redemption. Are we going to see any redemption? I wonder. Standing on his stoop and jabbering away to anyone who will listen about the evils of a centralized fence. Arguing that this island will never be free until we all come together to cast off the tyrannical yoke of Queen Eleanor. Ooh. Get control of her, Mr. Scott, before it's too late. I think it's funny they're telling Mr. Scott, you control him. Where's her father? That's what they're asking. Where's the father? Let me guess. Captain's grousing about last week, think I've lost my grip on reason. Corner girl. The captain's a fuck anyone else who doesn't like the way I manage this place. Hmm. Wow. What we're about to attempt with Captain Bryson, it is very risky. If he will not cooperate, we cannot, under any circumstances, attempt to detain him. And I know you think you cannot take no for an answer. Why should I? When he finds out what you've done, no one, not I, nor your father, will be able to protect you from the consequences. If Bryson balks, Tell me you understand. I understand. For now. Always oh, at the for now. Wow. They just muscle, muscle her back onto lugs and roll her back into water. Just, wow. In a few more days, we'll have the keel cleared and tarred and she'll be ready to go back into the water. Excuse me, Captain. Well, that ship's going to fall on somebody, isn't it? I said I've got the shit. What part of that don't you understand? What's going on? Someone's not cooking the meat pro. It's possible it wasn't the pig, you know. I mean, some people have weak constitutions. That looks pretty raw. It's delicious. As likely as not, it wasn't the pig. It's just something that's going around. Get back to work. He's going to spit that out. We know he's going to spit that out. I'm glad someone here likes me. The men seem to think it looked dumb. Yes, well, they need a roar if left to their own devices. Don't give anybody else food poisoning or else we have no crew. Get another pig. Catch it. Do exactly as I say. Go catch it. 
catch it and slaughter it yourself. <laughs> I see how it can be when I'm made to feel comfortable. It's like our bodies are all made up of these secret little compartments, she says. What's got pleasures in and inside them. And it just takes someone who knows how to unlock them. <laughs> Next. Next, is that what's happening? Mm. Your friends, they have seen the reward for gentle obedience. Gentle obedience. I would... Hmm. Vane should have a say. Oh! Indeed. Oh, and go get him. And go get him. I thought she belonged to Vane. Which sounds terrible, but also should have offered some protection. But Vane's not ready to protect Squat! <sighs> One of our crews intends to hunt the Urca de Lima. A move against a state asset. And your father hasn't quashed it. No, he hasn't. Why on earth not? Why don't you ask him yourself? He'll be in my tavern shortly. What is the strategy, Eleanor? I understood you meant to hide his presence here. We did, until this morning. Oh, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna puppet him around, huh? Once upon a time, Mr. Scott was my personal houseboy. And so he proved himself worthy of greater responsibility. That earned him an education, which he then passed on to my daughter. And look where that's got me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And alert Captain Bryson to the fact of your arrest. Because Bryson would have no choice but to liquidate our holdings here and return me to Boston a failure. Therefore, whatever resentment I might feel towards my daughter and your friend, the captain, I must put aside. Absorb the blow, as it were. Thank you for the explanation, sir. Wow. And they still put the wig on him. Shall we? Wow. I'm glad we did away with, <laughs> with those types of wigs. How did anyone look at anyone with a straight face and go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and not be distracted? Well, you said tied to the palm. Yeah, that palm, that one. Yes, it matters. Jesus, fix it, will you, please? You give a man a little bit of power. What fuck difference does it make? They're about trees, ain't they? Agreed. This boat's falling on somebody. Shove over, Randall. The shade's mine. If you bring me barnacle. You promised. For Betsy. The ship's gonna fall on him. Hold my spot. Get one on the way. They're not gonna squish this man, are they? Thought when that lackey gate stepped aside, we might have finally gotten a quartermaster. Wasn't fully in the captain's pocket. Guess I was mistaken. Someone's getting squished. What's we going to do about Billy? He appears to be straining at the seams. I thought maybe we ought to have. Stop. To... There is no we. Billy Bones is a dutiful boatsman. Commands enormous respect from his crew as well as from myself. I trust him a thousand times more than I would a Roman like yourself. All that being said, oh, Jesus Christ. I saw Billy speaking with Mr. Morley late last week. I trust Billy. Trust me. I'm purely in this for myself, and you know this. <laughs> Trying to play me against my own crew will not help your cause. <laughs> there were other ships. Had a few offers, have you? Makes sense. You'd be an asset to any crew. 
Now ask how many offers good old Jack has received since I ran in with the Lady Guthrie. Because they know. They know. Oh, jeez. The word is no. You took one of my best doors for your private use. But my crew sees her as responsible for the loss of a great deal of their money. They see this as a debt being repaid, nothing more. But I see it as thieving bullshit. Then I believe we're at an impasse. Disagreement without prospect of resolution. Take her by yourself if you're the bolt. You know as well as I do, your family would never approve of this. What my family approves or does not approve rests solely on one thing. Profit. Helen has arranged a plan to deliver them quite a bit of it upon the success of this operation, enough to assuage any fears they may have about repercussions. I find that hard to believe. Yes, I would as well. You're a brilliant seaman, Dyford. But in this instance, you're out of your depth. Maybe I am out of my depth. But... And yet this feeling persists. I wonder, Mr. Guthrie, if this might have something to do with His Majesty's ship, the Scarborough, currently docked at Harbour Island. The ship's still there. His Majesty's ships often use my port for resupply. What are you implying? The ship hasn't left. What, ha what happened to the ship's captain? Maybe they should have moved the Scarborough or something by now. No. It would seem, sir, that something's gone terribly wrong with the operation here. You two are scrambling to save yourselves. It's fair. Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, what's he gonna then go and do about it? I knew you wouldn't approve. Oh shit! But I couldn't let him leave here without giving up those guns. I'm doing this for us both. You lied. Should not have been surprised. The guns are yours, Mr. Hayes. He didn't sense anything was up. But you lost Mr. Scott's. You lost him forever. It's as much your work as Eleanor's. What is this if not the moment of your vindication? Mm -hmm. It's time we got you back. She'll get herself killed. Mm -hmm. What did you say to Bryson in that room? Rest assured I had a plan. Not just to end this insanity to contend with what comes next to keep her safe oh they're gonna try to take the pirates help me mr scott so he's gonna give her bryson brighton give her the guns but the guns won't, guns won't be there when they go get them well i should say different guns will be there when they get there well hello Is this little boy a distraction? Witch. Apparently he has nothing else to do with himself that day. It's when they lose half their man and the cat. They're gonna lose half their man and the cat. In order to guarantee Captain Bryce's acquiescence, I put a plan into place without Mr. Scott's knowledge. I lied to him. Betrayed his trust. Mm-hmm. Well, you can't expect him to. Nobody will believe it's possible until we show them. But when that day comes, you know what they'll say. <laughs> Here lies Mr. Scott. <laughs> Here it goes. Here are the omens. How many, oh, is this tree going to take out a bunch of people? Oh, it's going to take out all the trees. Run! Run! Oh. Oh, it's going to take out all of them. I'll go. Captain, there's no time. The main 
Lance is holding too much weight. We have to cut it loose. Save them all. Don't wait for me. Oh. <gasps> it's taking too long. You're going to take them all out in one go? John. It's so bloody you. It's going to be Pig Leg Randall. He's going to die of infection. Sepsis? All of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. <laughs> Where's Mr. Morley? So does this sow doubt in Billy's mind? Yes, we're thinking so. Flint pushed it through and I went along I knew better. Because you know what's at stake here. You know he's right. Stop, stop, stop. why? I... It's because I'm afraid of him. Well, you should be. <laughs> that night in the ship, what were they talking about? Well, they didn't hear much. Sounded like they were talking about a woman. Somebody Barlow. There's a pronounced sense of sadness in Purcell's pieces. Considering your circumstances, I can understand their appeal. Oh, this is his plan. Truthfully, I might know everything, Mrs. Hamilton. The portrait in your room depicts you alongside Lord Thomas Hamilton. Son of Alfred Hamilton, the Lord Proprietor of these Bahama Islands. And so I'd long heard of the tragedy that befell his eldest son, where Thomas's wife, long rumored to be the cheating sort, Ooh. had begun a torrid affair with her husband's closest friend, <gasps> a promising young officer in His Majesty's Navy. Oh. Thomas went mad with grief, his despair so great even the asylum couldn't protect him from himself. I wish to help you. Help With me. What? I understand how desperation may have driven you here. But perhaps it's time you were offered a hand and a return to civilization. And you could offer me that. In return. A clean start, a new life. I could do that for you. In return you. for? While I am uniquely situated to offer you your freedom, you may be able to do the same for me. Mm -hmm. In what way exactly? So those people that Flint killed were her in-laws then? <sighs> Eleanor, what are you doing? Why are you poking this bear? This is the mess you made, or at least had a hand in making. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. We're alone. You don't have to pretend with me. I don't think he is. <laughs> Standing beside you, I was your lesser. I was a girl. You still are in many ways. You must have known I'd never settle for that. That's why I loved you. And you destroyed me. Seems like a few times. You. The weakness behind the mask. Is this for happening or is he hallucinating? So much I have taken from you. Is this the opium? You know you could take it all back. Is this his mind telling him he could break free and kick ass? You know exactly what it is you need to do. If only you weren't so goddamn afraid. 
Yeah, what's the opium talking? Or whoever that man is. Oh, Jesus. Oh, who's he? What's its men? Ain't this a sad sight? And this is when you all die. Now, are you going to give me back me home? Oh, he's gonna gut you. Ugh. Where are you, Stin? Well, that was luck on your side. That was a sign from above, sir. Oh, he's just going to take it over. We'll be partners. Yes, he's got enough partners. Okay, what is this plan? God teaches us not to cheer when others stumble. In your case, I may ask his forgiveness. What is this plan? What does God say about redemption? Accept his love and you'll find it. What if I was prepared to go further? Penance for my past sins, good works, and they begin tonight. Bastards finally bringing in the first of the guns. It took him long enough. He takes his cabal seriously. I, I don't think there's gonna be guns in that ship. Why don't I take over? Mr. Guthrie told me I was to see those guns off with my own eyes. I understand. So I'll take the eyes from your head. <laughs> I will see to it. They are cast out of this place. It can't be Captain Bryson hasn't had time to unload. He didn't. She's riding low. Those guns are still on board. What are we going to do? Get them back. Well, one of your ships on shore, sir. We haven't left shore yet. So I don't think we'll ever get underway with all of the underhanded sliding dealings going down and the underhand sliding dealings going down because people don't talk to each other. But why would it, they, they, they don't live in a time where, where you just have open communication. I don't know why Vane intrigues me, but he does because he really, really doesn't do any, like he doesn't really have a part in the Irma de Lurka plan he doesn't seem to have a meet a goal for himself he just wants to pirate okay and now he's been beaten down why should i care about him getting back up again i don't know but for some reason i am maybe it's that quiet intensity and i'm kind of drawn to quiet intensity flint is almost too single-minded for his own good why gates follows him we haven't gotten that that story yet we got the barlow hamilton story though hmm and does anyone survive to get off the island and actually search for this <laughs> and the schedule this schedule how old is this schedule and how accurate and does this ship make the same rounds with the same gold over and over again i'm sure it must port it sometime for supplies I'm still feeling like I'm standing on the edge of the cliff waiting for something to happen. Will we get it next episode? I don't know. <laughs> we'll just have to watch it and see. Okay, so please hit subscribe so you know when the next video drops. Hopefully it'll be sooner rather than later because Bridgerton's done. I got more time in my schedule. My schedule. And until then, please take care of yourselves. Stretch your bodies. Watch where you're tying your, your ships and the wind. <laughs> Eat something and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.